So, Tegan. Yes, yes? Tell me what you know about Seattle. Seattle, um, okay, well that's the birthplace of grunge. You know, you're talking Nirvana, Soundgarden, uh, Alice in Chains. More recent, more recent. The Modest Mouse, Band of Horses, uh, less, more. less music in, less music Oh, um, oh, it rains heaps there. Bow, bow. There was that really shitty movie about a pair of lonely hearts, one of them had insomnia. I if you were referring to Sleepless in Seattle, I will have you know that it is a classic film, and Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan were beautiful in that film. <laughs> Anyway, that's not what I'm talking about Seattle for. Yeah, good, because it's a shit film. Ah, I'm talking about Seattle because when someone suffers a sudden cardiac arrest in Seattle, they have a 60% chance of survival. Oh my god, is it because Meg Ryan saves them? Ah, compare that to Australia, where only 9 to 10% of victims survive sudden cardiac arrest. Hang on, that's bad. Yes, it is. That's... And the reason for it is, is because over three quarters of people in Seattle are trained in high quality CPR. People of all ages, all of the population, know how to do it. But here in Australia, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We do? We do not. We don't. We don't. Those statistics are embarrassing. I mean, I mean, we as Australians are meant to be good at things. That is the point. I mean, we're quite good at some things. We're quite good at sports. We're great at Grant Denyer. We are fantastic at Grant Denyer. But we suck when it comes to saving lives. So what's the plan? The plan is to get Australia up to speed. Now! <sighs> Can I go to the bathroom first? No! <sighs>